Hi, Andrew from SACS. I wanted to talk to you today about diversity and inclusion in psychometric assessment. We see diversity and inclusion in psychometric assessment, of course, as being very important, and we see it as a joint responsibility between us as providers, you as clients, and the participant themselves. All three need to contribute in various ways to make this work. Just to explain our own philosophy of diversity and inclusion, we're committed to making sure that treatment of people with diversity is as fair as possible, whether that's health related or mental health related or disability or neurodiversity related, it's very important that we do that. So for aptitude assessments, sometimes we're able to adjust the time available to the candidate to complete, but also recommend that a particular candidate may not be cognitive ability assessed because these are time-based. Personality and values assessments are untimed and so they tend not to have that pressure component that cognitive ability has and in general research suggests that they are not exclusive in terms of people's diversity. We also work with candidates to ensure that assistive technologies will work with whatever devices they are using in order to complete but sometimes the best assistance can be a trusted colleague or friend who will sit with the person and help them to complete the instruments. That's commonly done if there are issues, let's say the candidate is unsighted, for example. And as well as that, we make our online system, the SACS portal, as effective as possible in terms of accessibility. We make the instruments as effective as possible. One of the most important things you can do in this situation is to communicate effectively with people about the nature of the assessments and how that will work, but also to recommend to them what they need to do if they have some form of diversity. So this is the email that we send to participants and we encourage them, you'll see, to let us know or the employer know about any form of diversity that they may have before they complete the assessments. And that's a way of ensuring that the whole process is as effective as possible. But as I said earlier, we see this as a partnership, a partnership between SACS as the provider, the client, and also the participant. So our role is to communicate our approach to inclusiveness, and we do that in a range of different ways, especially through the email that people receive. We provide candidates with contact details to provide them with the opportunity to contact us if there's anything that they want to talk about. And we also work with clients to meet individual candidate needs and adjust or exclude assessments if appropriate. SACS has many of these conversations with clients in a whole range of different industry sectors. We're only too willing to help in this respect, so please don't hesitate to contact us. And you as the client, if you have a particular perspective on inclusiveness, then of course it's best practice for you to communicate that to the candidates before they complete their assessment. So communication needs to come from the organisation. Yes, there will be communication from SACS, but there's a policy question here. What is your approach? to diversity and inclusion as an organisation. Now, if you are supportive of diversity and inclusion, then I think you need to explain that to people and in particular, encourage people to come to you before they complete their psychometric assessments to ensure that they are doing so in the best possible way. And you may need to discuss individual candidate needs with us after having done that and work with SACS to adjust assessments if appropriate. And the candidate, really the candidate has the responsibility of you as the employing organisation or us at SACS know if they feel that special consideration may be required. If you're not a psych testing user and you'd like to try psych assessment, use the QR code that you can see on the screen now to avail yourself of a free trial of SACS psychometric assessment instruments.